i was taking a course uh, in uh, one of the schools in harvard and then i came across a professor called professor uh, he was not a professor basically a priest a roman catholic priest he was teaching us technique of state craft so his name is father brian uh, brian ehir he introduced all of us to a philosopher called uh, thucydides uh, thucydides is a famous uh, greek philosopher who seems to have said 500 bc that is about 2500 years ago he said strong will do what they wish please register this in your brains strong will do what they wish weak shall do what they must i repeat strong will do what they wish weak shall do what they must in other words the weak in any continent any society or any moment of history will have no choice their agendas are given by the strong by the rich by the high and mighty by the ruling classes by the most prosperous few so weak shall do what they must so weak are given the agenda and the weak will have to follow dictum of the strong and surprisingly weak are always a majority and strong are always a minuscule minority see the paradox here we are always a majority they are 99% i brought uh, i i smuggled poster to this country which said we are 99% so we are always 99% but they always treated like beggars they are always treated like second class citizens they are always treated as beneficiaries not as proud partners the strong are always sitting on the prosperity strong have the access to corridors of power strong has the wherewithal to cross any border strong has always have the fuel to reach any place beat america beat london beat africa beat australia name it so that is the strong so that strong is ruling our country i think same might be true in the us as well but in india it has been the strong for the last 300 400 years they have been ruling the country but unfortunately the majority has been very very poor 